This is our loadout. We can only carry so many things. So all I'm bringing is a tent, a hiking staff, and some gloves. We'll explain later. So let's just start up the mission, huh? There's characters. There's permanent unlocks between the characters and stuff. I think I get to pick which one to play as. I think. Or maybe there's just both. I don't know. Not sure. All right. Is a side mission? These are all side missions. What's the main mission? Find two temporal anomalies and reach the goal. I don't know what I don't know what to do. Rewards: a thousand proficiencies. Sure, why not? Yeah, huh? So what I? I have it on ultra settings, but I don't know if uh, it'll handle it while streaming. You gaze at the endless mountain vista. Somewhere out there are strange apparitions, smaller anomaly anomalies that are connected in, sense, in some way to the time loop. I don't know what they're talking about. You have to seek them out and find out more about them, and you have to learn to use them to your advantage. They may be able to help you get better, stronger, faster, more productive. Tracking device. Some missions require to use your tracking device to find your next goal. You can activate slash deactivate it in your skill bar located in the lower right of the screen. You can then move your camera to find the goal. The closer your goal is to the center of the screen, the stronger the signal will be. Remember to look up or down to get a more precise location. Oh, uh, shit. So they don't tell directly tell me where to go and this time. I have to use a button. And it's on cooldown. Figureless gloves are great for shooting and weightlifting. Those are two very precise things. All right. Here's the basics, chat ace. We need to find a certain place to go. We have to climb. It takes a lot of energy to climb and to walk around. These are little events on the ground here that we can go with and restore stats or find items and stuff like that. Hey, gamer girl. Uh... Here's here's our resource management bar. Sanity, body temperature, energy, and oxygen. We have to manage all four. Different things go down and up based on different factors. We'll kind of explain as we go, I think. Yeah, it's an interesting premise, I gotta say. So, and that's about it. You just kind of click where to go after that. There's no other, like, action or interactions you really have to worry about that much. I think the one major flaw is, like, the camera can be a villain sometimes. Hubert with extra steps? I don't know, maybe. I guess we'll find out where the... Where's the the mission? Hello? Fuck. Oh, so I point the camera. And it gets stronger. We need to head to the right. Right and probably up a little bit, chat. Write that down. Why is it so quiet? It's such a quiet game. All right, how do I deactivate the beacon? Thank you very much. Hi, Missy. I mean, I've seen, I've seen that. Why does your message read like a headline, though? <laughs> uh, exhausted, you roll your head back, you gasp, and your pupils dilate. Pupils. As a comet flies over you, its bright tail stretching miles behind. What a spectacle. You are overwhelmed in a, with emotion. 305 XP. So you do get levels up and stuff like that. All right, so you can't go over like the block terrains and everything. Straight across, chatty. So let's go straight across. So you can see how that depletes my energy bar. So we start going up. I don't think you can really get over to the right. This is a problem. I think we go over there now. Exhausted after the first step. That's good, right? You have reached the start of your journey. You wonder if you should return to the research station. What? No. Oh, I think I actually hit on the starting zone. The starting square, hex, whatever it is.
This is as fast as it goes, too, by the way. They gave you speed up options, but they probably could have done it a little bit faster for max speed. Just a touch. We have an obelisk here. Golden Eagle suddenly lands in front of you, its wings carrying majestically to the ground. I can choose to get warmth or sanity, neither of which I really need. Sanity. Warmth is a uh, max, so we'll pick up some sanity there. This an on off cooldown now. We want to go up there, I think. Up there, chat. Did you hear me up there? Uh. Okay. How far away is that? Caves you can rest in. Can I even get up there? I can. I can get to whatever the hell that is. Maybe that's the best way. Okay, let's head up there. I can't enjoy the atmosphere or the pacing. This is also partially true. You lean back against a rock face. A distant melody reaches your ear. Tell me more. Hey, we got a level up. Plus two sanity. That's all I care about. Reduced energy cost when moving and climbing, but it only lasts 24 hours. 18% less. Increased oxygen gain per hour. Increased max oxygen. Whenever you use a consumable item, you get some body temperature. I feel like energy is always the hardest thing to deal with. So I'm going to take the energy one, even though it's technically only temporary. I just kind of wanted to see where you'd go to get over there. Jesus. Why is it suddenly so much louder? Hmm. So if I want to get over there... Jesus, I have to climb that piece of shit? That's a tall-ass order, you know what I'm saying? It appears to be the only way, or the most efficient way. That doesn't look efficient. Alright, let's head on over. Korean fried chicken? Mmm. On a mountain, though, you're not gonna find a place that serves that. Uh oh. The air is getting thin. Decreased energy cost for a short time. Because we entered the death zone, chat. Death zone means that your oxygen starts depleting because you're too high up. But we're immediately out of the death zone as soon as we leave. We get a little bonus for doing that. Okay. Don't crush my dreams, Dan. Okay, okay. People talking competently about what they're into is hot, okay? So when I talk about video games, it's it's sexy. All right, we found a tent. Why can't I investigate? Oh, because it requires too much energy. Do I search through the provisions? I'm not competent, though. False. Or do I leave the tent be? No sign of the owner. Why do they leave in such a hurry? Of course you look. In a sleeping bag, you find a thick book bound in leather. You engross yourself in reading the handwritten entries and learn about a zoologist who spent most of their life. Blah, 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 blah. I got some XP. That's all I know. All right. Reduced time cost when moving because everything takes time increased oxygen gain per hour increased maximum oxygen whenever you use a consumable item we get body temperature this time is only for 24 hours you know it's like an oxygen i think it's gonna be the oxygen god damn it daniel don't start it I don't know if I'm going to need oxygen for this one, but we'll find out. What's that? Do I want to go over there? Is that the thing? I think that might be the thing. Is that it? Chinese food is great. It is extremely good. Mm. We're going to have Vietnamese lunch tomorrow. Or is it dinner? Oh no, something bad happened. A wide crack in the ground in front of you brings you to an abrupt halt. You look into the depths. Jagged ice reaches up 
at you like spears. Suddenly you hear rumbling, startled. You turn around, an avalanche of ice and snow is rushing towards you. You're trapped. I can't even jump out of the way. Hold my ground. So I gain oxygen for some reason. I lose 47 health. Oh no, 47 temperature. Okay, that's also bad though. You can see my temperature bar going very down. That was less than optimal. What do we got here? In front of you is a dome-like structure made of glittering ice. No, not ice. The surface is as soft and yielding as water. You know precisely what you found. An anomaly. Can't an anomaly be anything? Do I want oxygen? Which also gives me energy. Or sanity. Well, sanity gives me a lot more experience. Hell yeah, give me that. Why are some options blank? I might not have... Some things can have up to four options or something, I think. Reduce energy cost again. Reduce energy cost in the death zone. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. How do you set up a bivouac? Be be bivouac? What did what do you what did you just call me? Where's the next anomaly? Wait, it's back. It's that way. That's very far away. Reserve energy ends in nine hours. I can use my tent. Let's go up here and see what we got. Carefully climb into the crevasse. Gigantic footprints. I lose temperature, which I'm concerned about. My temp is very low. Let's not do that. Is it cold? It's normal weather. Hmm. Thoroughly search the tents or quickly search, look around. Thoroughly, of course. You find two bottles of oxygen tanks. Never punished. Wait, why aren't I... I didn't have my stuff equipped. Turns out you have to equip the stuff when you start. Well, no wonder I'm losing over here. All right, we're going to weather the storm. We're going to use our tent. We're going to sleep for a long ass time. Give us a lot of energy, a little bit of warmth. Jesus, Dan, naked mountain climbing. Yeah. All right. You can only use the tent three times. So now we had to ha have to... I can't see a goddamn thing. You have to head back this way. Hello, I can't see. Improving grass graphics and games was a mistake. Oh my god. I think it's over... Was it over there, chat? I think it might have been you know, over there. I think we gotta head like down. My temperature. She's falling. Energy cost for climbing increased. Uh oh. Is this how I die? Hypothermia? Okay, this was a less. You couldn't hop over the bush? You had to go around, didn't you? Always gotta make a spectacle of things. I think we got the tent again. My temp is too low. I lose body temperature. I gain body temperature. I lose body temperature. Because I think the next day is cold. That's why. Uh-oh. Just out there with his dick out. Wait, what are y'all saying? All right, now it's cold. All right, let's use this again, because now I can actually see. All right, we want to go over there. It's somewhere over there. Do we see any things I can use? I see a chest, like, way over. Don't see much down there. There's uh, something over there. There's also an obelisk. Something, something, road less traveled, you know what I'm saying? Okay, hopefully we'll be fine. 
have no idea how this game plays. Think of it as like Oregon's Trail. Where sometimes there are events where good things happen and bad things happen. And you have to like kind of... You gotta like make the right choice kind of thing. I need to up my temperature. These are gonna get me killed. My tempies. I'm gonna continue my journey instead. I can't do that one. Shit. Did I bring a coat? No. Why would I need a coat? We're going to go all the way over there. Which is kind of the wrong way. Grid based movement like gr crown trick. There's probably a game it's similar to that I'm not aware of. Please help me. Give me some warmth. Warmth, 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 warmth. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. It's so warm. Oh, there. That helped quite a bit with the body temp. All right, where's this piece of crap? Oh, I was going the right way. See, chat? I'm not. I'm no fool. Uh-oh. I'm a little low on the NRG. What's in the, the old B pack over here? Who brings two oxygen tanks to a mountain but no food? What were you thinking, honestly? Hi, wife. Who does this? Guzzle, you wouldn't do this, right? All right, we're going to have to try, I think. I have So you can sleep and recover energy without a tent. It's just not it's just not good for you, you know what I'm saying? Don't ask me why. Eat the dead guy? If only they'd let me. Ah, there it is! Alright, we need to rest again. It's sleepy time. I lose temperature, but I gain much needed energy. And what's the temp... The weather's clear tomorrow, so I won't lose as much body temp. Eat dead guy? Can't we just ride the carcass down the side of the mountain like a sled? That happened in The Simpsons, right? All right, so what's the path over there? All right, all right. Looks like we're going to make it. WTF? It was from a television show. Simpsons did it. They very much did it. That's like an old episode, too. Well, it was a carcass that had been left there. Hey, at least the family got a pack. <laughs> All right, what do we got? The landscape blurs in front of you. As if you were staring through a sheet of ice, you squint. The icy surface turns out to be a shimmering, but porous dome-shaped structure enveloping as the snow, snowy cliffs. An anomaly, no doubt about it. You reach your hand to the anomaly and feel a pleasant warmth. Ca caress your fingertips. Sanity or health? I think our health is fine. I think we do the sanity. Okay, now what? Now we have to get out, I guess, which is this way. Well, I'm a bit low on energy game, but like, what do you want from me? I'm kind of tired. It's over that way. Okay, hold on. We got some stuff over there. Kind of went the wrong way. I see things. All right, let's head over there. Lovecraftian? I don't know. The story involves like a time loop or some shit. I feel like the solo climbing stuff where it's like no harnesses, no ropes, just like a pickaxe. It's just like, what happened to you, honey? All right, so I can choose to spend energy to get out of this bad thing, or I can spend oxygen and time. Oxygen and time, baby. Conserve that energy. All right, what do you got for me? Sanity or warmth? Warmth. Sanity is fine. I'm very sane. <laughs> All 
Would you lose your sanity up here just because you're alone or something? All right, we got a control center. Do we go inside? Why is it colder inside the control center? You think? You hear a snarl coming from inside chat. Or I can peek around the outside? You lose, you can lose sanity when mountain climbing. You think go inside? What could go wrong? All right, let's head in. You slip through a narrow entrance on the other side. There was a room whose proportions take you by surprise. Hidden from the outside, reaching into the deep mountain, you look around. There are monitors mounted on the wall. You next to them, you find massive mounds of technical blueprints of what appears to be antennas. You hear another snarl. Silently, you make your way to the exit, picking up a few provisions along your way. All right, what do we get? We got a bandage plus four health. That was terrible. That was a horrible event. Trash. You've been alone for years and you're fine. Ha 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 ha. You know, I'm not going to say, you know, as a married man who lives with his significant other, I'm not going to say, I, or I'm not allowed to say that, you know, living alone was all right for me personally. But what I can say is that, you know, it wasn't that bad. For me, mileage will vary. And I certainly couldn't say that I miss it. I certainly would not be allowed to say that. Sanity or energy? I think we got enough sanity to get us out of here. How do you get over there? I guess I should go that way. See some things along the way down. You live alone, turn in a shut in? Oh, I'd be 100% a shut in. But I don't think I'd be like upset about it. I don't know. I did live alone sometimes, but I also had like friends nearby that I could see and stuff like that. So it's kind of hard to say for sure. Can't send other people's messes. Living with people can be tough. Uh Oh, I quickly pull myself up the slope or I carefully let myself slide down the slope, but I lose all of my tempies. I think I have to waste the energy, then we have to sleep outside or something. Oh, that's bad. Alright, so now we have to sleep on the cold, hard ground. Where I lose a bunch of oxygen and sanity and temperature. That's not good, chat. That's not good for anybody. Is it better to sleep longer? Sure hope so. It's so bright, I can't see a goddamn thing. All right, a smooth sparkling stone catches your eye. Its surface is covered in delicate, complex patterns of ice crystals that remind you of saplings, ferns, and blossoms. Beautiful sight. Examine them. I got some sanity and some XP. All right, I need to find a way to get warmth. Reduce energy costs when moving and climbing. Reduce energy costs when moving, but increase time cost. That's 10%. That's oxygen crap. I don't need that because we have still have two oxygen tanks. I guess just this one's minus 22% for the next 24 hours. <gasps> a cave! We can sleep in a cave, right? What's happening? Well, I kind of wish I didn't spend that level then. Blindness is an issue? I can see. All right, hold on. We're in a cave. Do we lie down and sleep or do we follow the smell first? There is a very strong smell chat. Of course we follow the smell. Come across a small water hole. A thin ray of light fall, falls through an opening. Blah, blah, blah. More sanity, more XP. Sounds good. Have a sleep. Sleep for a long ass time. My oxygen is getting low, but we got tanks for that. Um... I feel like going... when you're If you're just hiking up like a fairly steep hill slash... Uh, mountain going down it I felt was kind of worse like I got so sick of going down like my ankles were like so sore from that plus 42 oxygen boom baby 
Like, going up, like, I don't know, there's something easier about it. It's harder. It's probably less safe, too. Alright, alright, hold on. Come across remnants of a wall, a weathered stone wolf's head stares at you with lifeless eyes. I lose a shitload of stats. Hmm. I don't know. I'm very close to the exit. I don't know, chat. Stay and examine the relic. Fuck that. I'm leaving. The trap. Alright, let's shake hands or whatever this is. What is this? Oh, we can trade. I can get some gloves, but I have to give up my oxygen. Or I can take the offering without leaving anything and lose a bunch of sanity. <laughs> Wait, I already had gloves. Crap. All right, let's swap. We need fur gloves because it's warmer. I forgot I already had gloves. All right, but what's in this chest, chat? There's another cave we can sleep in. Just sleep in caves, chat. You don't need a tent. You know what I mean? Search through the rubble. Sure, let's do it. Please help me. What did I get? Fuck! Increased energy costs for the next 16 hours? Crab salad. That's not, that's not good for us. Oh no, it's going to be cold in the morning, too. My tempies. Follow the noise? Always follow the noise. Oh, I don't have a torch. We're fine. Hey, we got an oxygen tank back. Wait, I didn't need that. Shit. Bad. Confirm. Lie down, have a sleep. I lose body temperature by staying asleep, actually. For too long. So we shall sleep briefly. We shall sleep briefly. How did you all figure out how to do italics? It doesn't show up on the screen in such a way, though. What is this sorcery? Hmm, do I go out of my way to get to that? I actually gain temperature. Lovely. This is third person. Oh, is that the idea? Like you're talking in third person? Oh no, what happened? Clonk, clonk, you climb your way up a sheer wall of ice. You suddenly feel a frigid draft. In a split second later, you hear the crash of impact. You throw your head back and see them looming above enormous columns of ice. Growing along the cliff face, one of them just hurtled down into the depths. Keep climbing, or you turn around and take a detour, chat. Keep going, we'll be fine. You make your way up the ledge. Oh no, we got a nasty cut! Fuck. We'll be fine, right? Get some warmth. Okay, we're almost there. Yeah. The camera is your biggest enemy in this game. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Attempt to grab it. Do it. Keep trying. Oh, come on. Just grab it. Hey, we got some boots. Sweet. Minus 15% energy cost on stone. Oh, get some body temperature, maybe, from using a consumable. And now let's use our oxygen tank. And our health bandage. We got some loot, baby! Yeah, we were going barefoot. Why would I bring this stuff when you can just find it on the top, top of the mountain, don't you know? You certainly don't bring any food. I don't even know why I'm resting. The exit's right there. Maybe we just had really cheap boots, you know, like we're first-time climbers. 
Oh my god, that one shows up on the stream. How is Forgetty accomplishing this? Did we do it? We did it! I kind of feel like the game's too easy at the start. It probably gets harder. But it almost feels like I can't lose. I don't know, we got kind of close, I guess, that time. We climbed the mountain and got back. Yeah, good job. Ah. Huh? Oh, your ears are still ringing. Now, some people might spend the time to read these things, but that, that's a mistake, let me tell you.